Good morning. What's going on guys? I am out here actually fishing a lake that I've always wanted to fish. Um, this place is a little kept secret. Uh, a friend of mine lives on the lake is getting me out here and we're going to try to smack some panfish today. It is first light. It's about 8:10 right now and uh, we're drilling holes. We're spudding our way out, find safe ice and then hopefully it'll be on. So stay tuned for that. And uh, I'm really excited because I'm going to drop down that new mark on my underwater camera and see if I can locate and find some other fish down there swimming along. All right, let's get after it. Yeah, that's huge. All right. We, uh, we swapped GoPro batteries. We are catching some solid, solid gills right there. But uh, we also have a mess of crappie moving in. It is noon, it's actually 12.30, and these fish are, they've been biting all morning, but we just found where the decent fish are. So, oh, oh my lord, that thing caught me on the way down. That fish just moved in. Let's see if I can get one right here for you guys on the camera. Yep, look at them. Small crappie, we're gonna let him back. There we go. That one's got a little bit of muscle. Get right back down on these guys. We can get them over. While oh, they're hot. Did you just tag a big one, Dougie? No. That's a good one right there. If that's one fish, that's a, that's a giant. They got some still got some fight in them. Still big ten with wind chill, so wanna high stick that guy. What we're gonna do is I'm just gonna drag this. Pick it up right on the line. There's, there's a couple holes right on the inside already. seen on your graph there are you seeing anything or yeah I was seeing a bunch as soon as I drop a jig down they'll come right back see my jig my jigs at ten and a half or nine and a half feet yep. he's about to come up and smoke it oh, there he was they just moved in like waves dude look that whole graph is fish you see them all that yellow all these flicker those are all fish yep This one's not big. Unless you get some spunk in them at the end. Nope, that's a small one. Wow, they came in like a freaking storm though. Here they come. I got a chip. Yep, got some chips. I got coming. a minnow. Got a minnow, Scotty. Nothing. Another small one. There's another one. Well, we're catching them as quick as we get it down there now, but oh, they're yeah. they're just chip. The uh, chips moved in. Chippendales. Yeah, I'm get, I'm catching them left and right, but they're chips. Yep. I got a chip. Chip. Ah, uh, dinky. Yeah, step up. I step up. I'm gonna put these back in your hole. The small ones. That's one fish, that's a better mark. That's a hanger there. Oh, buddy. Got oh, yeah. One. There we go. There we go. I don't know what you think. Oh, yeah. he make the cut. There we go. That's a good one. Not bad. Back on the board. 
There we go. Back on the board. Come on, be a good one. That one's pulling. Ah, uh, that's pretty good. Not bad, not bad. There you go, these guys are flopping around. First one, wow, they're coming flying in. Yeah. Small. Get that camera down there while we got a bunch of fish. Some sweet shots going. Well, like I said before, uh, it's taken us all morning. We've been out here since first light. I mean, I had a hole punched at 820, and uh, it's taken us all day to find the right fish. But we're starting to get them. Um, we've punched a ton of holes, covered about 300 yards of water, um, and we've used the live scope. We've used the standard cone on the Garmin and the Markham, and we are trying to find where these big fish are we finally got over some weeds seems like there's some bigger gills here we got a couple really good ones um, but we're having to do a lot of sorting but now I'm gonna hop, toss down the uh, the Markham and get some underwater footage and see if we can physically see uh, some of these bigger fish oh look at that Doug look oh that's cool dude that's freaking money dude I love it yes. oh dude look ready Ready? I'm gonna spin this sucker to the right. Here they come. There's a crappie over there. Look, they're just coming right in on it. Curious. Just fish everywhere in the distance, too. Cool, dude. Check the bass out right here in the <laughs> distance. I wanna watch that thing instead of fish. That's badass, dude. How many you got in here? Holy fuck, it feels like a hotel. Dude, look at his screen, dude. There's fish just swimming right in. Bro, this whole oh, no, this yeah. whole screen was solid just yeah. a second ago. Yeah, now it's I got it all on video. Sweet. So, real quick, just do a quick little gear check for you guys. Um, nothing super special. We've used tungsten teardrops, um, a bunch of bunch of different size jigs, three mil, four mil, five mil. They've all been working. Right now, I just got a little ant pattern on. Something really simple, tipped with a red spike. Um, I've caught them on plastic today. I've caught them on spikes, wax worms, mousies. Nothing has been doing any better than anything else. Um, I am switching out, though, to the pinhead minnow because I'm going to try to trigger some bigger fish to come in and bite that. Uh, we'll see. we got some crappie moving in. But right now, it's just been a bunch of gills, a few crappie. I've had the underwater cam down. Um, things has been a lot of fun. But real quick... Really simple. The bite has been aggressive, as in they've always eaten the jig when we've dropped it, but it's been a soft, I, okay, so the fish have been feeding all day, but the bite has been really soft. I guess that's the best way I could put it. So I'm fishing my super ultralight, all right? Really simple, three mil jig. When the fish pick it up, you'll see that up bite. Also, I'm fishing my 13 fishing long stem spinning reel. I just really like the long stems. Um, I typically always hold my rods like this, sometimes like that, pistol grip style. So that helps. But again, this is my super ultralight. I think this is, yeah, this is a 23. 23 tickle stick, super ultralight. Nothing fancy, but this, this rod does help me land a lot of fish that I wouldn't see the bite if I was just fishing my normal ultralight. I'm not gonna lie. So anyway, getting right back to it. Action's still hot. I'm gonna show you guys. I got fish all over the screen. Look at this. Crazy. I'm gonna smack him right now. Here we go. First time we met. Oh yeah, man. Yeah, jo that other guy, Josh, had bailed on you. Oh, this is another crappie. Yeah. Man, they're still too small for crappie, but... Yeah, I've caught, I've caught nine of those that size today. Here he comes. Oh, he was on and I didn't swing. Here comes a small one.
see the bite's still going, man. You get it down there and they start coming right up off the bottom. But it's been hard all day picking through these. I mean, there's been a ton of small ones, but there are definitely some bull bluegill in here. Try to get a couple more. Oh, this one's coming, zooming. Got him. Wow, that one comes smoking right off the bottom. Feels better, but you really never know until you get them up. Hey, boys, look at this guy. Hey, boys. Warm mouth. That's pretty cool. Been a while since I caught one of those. Boys, pumpkin seed. Still going, man. Still getting them. I'm trying. They're down there. I'm trying to get a couple. Yeah, that one's pretty good. My last couple were, my last three have been that, that last three or four. That's a slab, dude. Now, come on. Yeah. I know. Just like for me, the last four I did were that big. It's hard to leave now. Yeah, he's coming to eat right now. Yep, he's swinging. It's a big one, too. It's a giant. I don't understand them things. Oh, shit. Steel building, pre engineer. Mm -hmm. Small. They're, uh... Well, I think that's it for me, boys. Yeah, I'm ready. All right, you guys. We, uh, we put the smag down on them today, but it was tough. We worked hard. They were hitting all the jigs. Now, there's a couple secret jigs that the boys here were using. They did fill their limit before me, they stuck with the same jig all day. So there is something to be said about that. That's some old school knowledge coming from my man Scott holding the camera. But uh, Doug got his limit. Scott got his limit. I'm just short of mine, but I've also got about 30 minutes left. So I'm going to keep fishing. I'm going to get mine. Let me show you guys what we got. There we go. Let me take a look here. We definitely put it down today. A lot of hard work though, a lot of hard work. We, uh, wind would pick up right here in this cut and we had to, we'd jump in the shanty, warm up for a bit and then get right back outside and jump around. The key for us really though was hole hopping. We probably dropped into 30 different holes that were already cut. We cut another 30 ourselves and whenever we'd catch one or two out of the hole, the fish would scatter. The ice is really clear here. It's only 10 foot deep. So we had to be real stealthy, really consistent, and jump around. And we put a bunch of fish on the ice. But um, had a blast, man. I'm ready to get back out here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's still going good. Okay. I could, I could see, I knew the distance from where it was probably, it's gonna be, it should be good. I Look at I that one. Big That's a fat giant. One. Heck yeah. Solid. Solid work. Yeah, brother. <laughs> Good times. We'll have to do it again. Absolutely. All right. Next yeah, time out for all of us on uh... Absolutely. Yeah, yeah Doug's, Doug's home lake here. So a little gem. We're uh, fortunate to get out here and do some fishing. And tomorrow, Lake St. Clair, if I'm lucky, I'll get some gold for the top side. So stay tuned. All right, guys. That's looking like it's it. Thanks for watching Fishing Native Waters. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.